finally arrived. Hi there. Hey. It's good to see you guys again. Uh, I'm Lord Gar. Uh, you may know me from such exploits as uh, trying to convert Dave Chaos to the dark side. Uh, and when I nuked Dave's Gar's and Nip Day's uh, cheat base earlier in his Tekken series. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I, I've had something in my throat for days now. Um, so yeah, welcome to the beginnings of this, my very evil, totally non-cheaty, highly technical, uh, did I mention evil? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, playthrough of Tech It, yes. Um, so it took me a while to get here, I think you guys probably saw my little exploits in my, my homeland. Uh, yeah, I built a little portal to take me here. Uh, God, it, take, it took a lot of energy. Something that uh, you can't really do in normal Minecraft, yeah, as it were. Uh, but in Tech It, you should be able to create a lot of energy, which is why I came here, because I want to use all that energy to be ridiculously evil. So, yeah, uh, I'm entirely new to this world, to, to Tech It. Uh, I don't, haven't played it very much. I know my bit of a nerd brother plays it quite a bit with um, his buddy. His buddies Dave and Nip Day, but I'm pretty new to it. Um, so forgive me if I don't know everything for immediately off the bat, but I am an evil genius, so I should be able to pick up, up on stuff pretty quickly. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, what do I need to do now? What do I need to do? Wood. Everybody needs to get wood on their first day. So I will... Um, I won't, sh won't bore you with all the details of what I'll be doing on this. It won't be a complete gar vision type of thing what you'll get is little snapshots of how i'm doing how i'm progressing uh, as i said i want to be completely evil in this playthrough i want my ultimate aim is to destroy dave chaos to completely and utterly eradicate him from the world don't ask me why he's just a bit of a dick and oh it gets in my nerves and mm, i don't know i think the world would be a better place with him off it so that's what i'll be doing Ooh, chickens. Ooh, ooh, silly me. Um, you will find that I'll be a little bit frustrated during this playthrough because I am used to having all mobs, all evil creatures in particular, completely at my beck and call. Ooh, rubber wood. Is the sun going down? Yes, it is. I'm used to having all evil creatures completely at my beck and call, and that just simply won't be the case for the early stages of this playthrough. So, we're gonna have to get used to that. We're gonna have to fight them off like I did in the earlier in the early days of Garvania. Um, it's nice though that I've still got my evil vision on. I, I don't like it whenever I don't see the water as blood, and when I don't see things as evil and as dark as I believe they should be. So that's good. I like that. Um, now I'm not completely okay with Tekkit, but I know that rubber is pretty important, and I also know that those do I have yes I have evil sight on I know that that little tall bit there represents that that is a rubber tree so let's get out to this little swamp island and start getting some wood I'll probably see you in a bit guys before as I before I collect some resources bye for now okay minions uh, I have got myself some basic stone tools as you can see and just in case some of you are new to tech it, which you probably won't be, but in case you are, I made some taps by just doing this little shape in the thingamajigger. That's the official term for it. And I'm now going over to see if I can well, get distracted by these mushrooms first, because I will eventually need some food. I am mostly a carnivore, though. Being evil, I don't think you can really afford to be a vegetarian. But now that we've got these taps, let's look for some rubber. Ooh, marble. See if we can see any of these little things on here. I believe this is the right tree. There we go. Awesome. Now, I know that once I get a mass, not a macerator, an extractor, I can get all the wood from this tree and we'll be good to go. And I know wood probably shouldn't be my main concern, uh, rubber shouldn't be my main concern right now, but. Um, I don't plan on living on the swamp. I plan on living pretty much close to where you originally find. Oh, nice to pick up some rubber like that as well. And like that, fantastic. Um, I plan on living pretty close to where I originally spawned. 
mostly because there is still the remnants of my initial port portal base there and uh, portal rather not portal base portal and I don't want to I've got a feeling I could be lonely in this playthrough and I know that if I go to the nether I could definitely find some evil minions for myself uh, I know that one particular evil uh, high up evil minion of mine that I've always had a bit of a soft spot for actually is currently residing in the nether. I'm not sure why, but I'm sure he'll explain, explain, explain that to us better than we actually meet him. I'll leave it a surprise who this who I'm talking about, but those of you who followed my exploits, the exploits of uh, Lord Gar, should probably know exactly who I'm talking about. This isn't rubber, but I'll pick some up anyway. Just in, just in case. I've got an axe, I might as well. Part of me because I'm evil, is actually very tempted to leave the last wooden block up there in order to uh, annoy anybody who might find it. Preventing the tree from despawning would uh, isn't exactly the most evil of things I've ever done, but you know, you gotta start small. You gotta start small and move your way up. There we go, there's some rubber. Rubber. I can hear a zombie. Soon, my friend, soon you'll be able to do my bidding. <laughs> Come on, give me give me some more rubber. Ugh. It is it is somewhat frustrating to have to start from scratch again, guys, I will admit. Those of you who saw the my exploits on previous on my previous castle, a floating castle. You know, I'm not used to having to used to living at rough. Uh, it's not something I am familiar with, as it were. Um, they're the rubber saplings, that's what they look like, good. Some of these items will look very new to me, so please be patient. Uh, if I do anything wrong, please feel free to point it out in the comments. Do bear in mind though that you will not often be seeing the most recent thing that I have done in this land. Uh, I will be hijacking my brother's YouTube account to upload these videos for you, as you can expect. Um, I have a bit of a magical hold over over Gar. Um, we, he doesn't really know that I hijack his channel from time to time to do stuff like this, and I'm fine with that. It suits me down to the ground because uh, it means I don't have to deal with his pesty whininess. Some of the more astute amongst you might notice that uh, for brothers we actually have the exact same name. Uh, that's because our parents were very stupid. Uh, they didn't realize that we were twins. Um, Gar, my brother, was actually born first, um, and I better light this place up. He was actually born first, and uh, he was always originally planned to be called Gar. Then I popped out later, much uh, very wrinkled, kind of. Uh, I al already, I already looked evil, if I'm going to be honest, and um, and they were too unimaginative to come up with another name. So Lord Gar, I became because I was just basically otherwise known as Gar. To. And that exactly wasn't a name I was looking forward to. Uh, I was enjoying rather. So um, I christened myself Lord Gar, and here we go. Why did I not come up with another name? You at, you might ask. Well, you might ask, but I won't be telling you. So there we go. I found myself a little cave, and I believe I will just do a little bit of mining now, and I'll join you again once I've got some of these resources. Hopefully, then it'll be day, and we can go back to the portal to be to continue our exploits. Torah for now. I thought I'd just uh, welcome you back, guys, because I find a little friend, um, and I think I want his gunpowder. Um, to be quite honest, I don't know what the best way of doing this is. To be honest, he should be able to get up there now, shouldn't he? No, he still cannot. Can I hit him with my sword from here? Yes, I can. Aha. Uh -huh. I am sorry, brother. You are one of my most evil companions in most days. But right now, I need your gunpowder more than I need you. So, let's see what's down here in this pool of blood. Ooh. Well, isn't that lucky? And I haven't... I can't get it without my... Uh, without smelting this iron first. I wasn't planning on staying here too long. In fact, I'm not even sure if I have enough coal to smelt you. But I think it would be worth smelting. Using, wasting some wood to smelt it just to get that 
emerald, I believe. So, do we have enough cobble? Yes, we do. I left my crafting bench outside. Aha! Well, we can always just do another. We can never really be too short of crafting benches. Just get this. Once I get this, we'll be we'll be on our way again soon, I believe. I don't want to go too far into this. I'm not nearly well enough prepared, and I don't like being caught unawares. What am I doing? That was very foolish of me. Okay, here we go. Let's get this furnace down. And in it we shall smelt some iron. Just three pieces. And we will use... Hopefully that shall be enough. Looks like it probably won't, but I'll come back to it. For a little mini explore. What is down here? Get my sword on, on the go. I've already been down there. <laughs> that is very silly of me. And you have stopped and you have given me one. Okay. Damn. Well, that's fine. I'll put two more in and we'll just have to wait. Let's see if I can. Any other spaces that I have omitted? I do hear zombies. I don't believe it is a zombie spawner, but it is worth exploring just in case. I am being an evil lord as I am. Ooh, more coal. How fortuitous. Being evil uh, as I am, it is uh, it is pretty important, I believe, to, in to enjoy the dark arts. Um, the dark arts being magic. Uh, so I will be taking mm, very much use of the... What in the world is that? An iron nugget. Okay. There clearly is not a texture for that in evil vision. So we shall have to ignore that temporarily. <laughs> and with this we shall pick back up the furnace. And with this we'll pick up the crafting bench. And onwards we go after getting this coal. We're still in the middle of the night though, which isn't great. So I might have to explore a bit more of this than I had originally planned. Hmm. That's okay. We shall make do. Yes, I will make full use of the um, equivalent exchange abilities of Tekkit. Because I believe magic has to be embraced if you are evil. But, as I am also a genius, I do want to embrace the uh, technic side as well. The build craft, the industrial aspects of Tekkit. I don't want to leave any aspect untouched if I feel... It would be of advantage to me being spectacularly evil to Day of Chaos. Um, uh, which is also why I will be planning on ch enchanting items. So yes, you can see actually that I have carried three experience points with me into this world. That is because I want to enchant. I want to have items that have powers on them. Fire is one of my favorites, of course. I do like sharpness. I like being able to destroy my enemies with my swift and sharp blade. Bear in mind, though, guys, that... Uh, let me just double-check that this isn't uranium. No, it is emerald, as, as I expected. Um, what was I going to say? I had something very incredibly important to say there, but I, I can't really remember what it was. Oh, yes. I don't have an immediate plan as to how... I plan on ridding the world of the blight that is Day of Chaos. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I I can't just kill him with a sword. I can't just pester him like that. I am aware that when he dies, like the majority of us in this world, he will come back. It is a blessing and it is a curse, but he will certainly come back if I was to just kill him normally. I believe because this is what I've learned from my many other evil... Uh, <laughs> I'm so evil I can't get up the water. <laughs> this is what I've learned from being evil all across the world. I believe that uh, if I uh, use enough energy, I should be able to fully rid the world of him if I use something which has a strong EMC value. Something like a nuclear bomb might do it, but it might not be enough. If you had a feeling, you could come back from that. I've seen it before. I don't quite know his strength, but it is—it is certainly not impossible. 
I uh, I have some ideas, but I, I, I'm willing to listen to uh, some of my evil minion ideas as well. So please, do not hesitate to leave a comment. Tell me how I should kill Dave. What is the most evil way you can think of? I've got a few plans, and I know that once I bring on one of my special evil minions, he will have plans as well. Um, but please, do do leave your comments. As I'm going through this, you'll see that I'm picking up quite a lot of minerals. I, My understanding of this is that eventually I will have the ability to ravage the earth for the minerals that I desire with machines of my making and I will not have to barely lift a finger. However, in the beginning, as with most, as with anything really, you have to put the hard work in. So, I am trying to collect as much minerals as possible I do not really subscribe to the to the whole leave only footprints uh, thing that goes on with uh, environmentalism it would not really be right for me to be evil and environmentally friendly now would it now I see that there is something above here I believe it is water it is strange that it is dripping blue given that I see it as red it is indeed water. We were lucky. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. If I ever thought for a second it could be anything but water. But I did. <laughs> there you are. Occasionally I will not be quite as evil genius as I sometimes make out. <laughs> sometimes I will be evil moron. But that is okay. We do not judge here in Evil Tacket. We do not judge. Well, we do judge. We judge quite harshly, actually. We, uh, we don't like a lot of people. Uh, number one on that list is Dave Chaos, as I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard me mention. So uh, take back completely what I said. We are very judgmental people, uh, and I hope you are too. I don't want to drown, so I'm getting out of that now. I can hear the spider. I hope he is not above me. If he is, he will feel the wrath of my stone sword. Ugh. What is? What is this? Ooh, it is daytime. Fantastic. Fantastic. I see that the sand here is black. I shall take some of it and get... Get some sand back, for I will probably be using glass. At some stage, at least. I know I need to make transport tubes, which, have, which I believe are made of glass, so... All the sand I can muster can only be a good thing. Hmm... There's an irk there's a murkiness to the to the underwater whenever it's made entirely of blood. I must admit I quite like it. Aha, sugar. I shall get some of these reeds. I believe they have a high um, value on your equilibrium ex equivalent exchange. Equilibrium exchange. And I believe now we have quite quite enough stuff. I have some rubber saplings. That should be enough to make a rubber tree farm I have let's do a quick inventory check two emeralds that should be enough for a sword one thing I am missing out on is food however I have some brown mushrooms but nothing else I see sheep I see cow ha I told you I was a carnivore Can I feel my steel that's not steel feel my steel feel my stone is there any sort of stone that rhymes with feel? There isn't, is there? Feel my... Ah! Feel it. Whatever it is, feel it. In your face, cow. Aha! You mock me, do you? With your evil frown. Oh, I missed. You win this battle, Kai. You win this battle. But your other Kai over here, that I saw earlier, it shall not. <laughs> I need to improve on my battle skills. I I anticipate having to uh, fight more than just Dave on this in this encounter. What is this? Ah, that was I dug down earlier for stone. Right oh. Where was I originally based? <laughs> I have no idea. I believe it is this way. I shall meet you back there, minions. I shall meet you back there. 
It was not that way, guys. It was the uh, complete opposite direction. Um, so it turns out that although I am quite high in the IQ department, I am not very good in the geographic awareness part department. Take some of this chicken and some of the valuable XP you give me. I believe you saw the portal, didn't you, in the beginning? In the beginning of the thing? I believe you did. There it is, anyway. It is here on the black sands with the pool and blood in front of it. It's actually quite fortuitous that it's here, actually. I didn't anticipate having a portal here. Because I believe what that means is, in order to get to the nether, which, as I'm sure you're aware, is quite the evil of places, I only need one, two pieces of obsidian. And I might be able to do that quite easily with, um... With lava, instead of having to go for obsidian. So I might be looking to do that towards the end of this episode. Uh, in the meantime, though, what I will do is I will dig into this base a little bit. Oh ha! A cave! This could be quite useful. And lava! Fantastic! Fantastic! Great. This is a nice little cave. I like the look of this. Mm hmm. Two openings. This is good. One thing I'm quite keen to find is a volcano. I believe they exist in this land, and it would be quite cool to have a volcano base. It's something that I've seen quite a lot of, e a lot of other evil people do over the years in movies and stuff, and I think it wouldn't be remiss for me to have one. Do I have any cobble? I do indeed. <laughs> right. Let's not be evil for a second. Let's be practical. Bang, bang. Ah. <gasps> <sighs> There we go. We've got a nice little lava feature. Don't tell me the sun's going down already. My god, the days are not long in this world. The days are not long. I shall be back whenever I've established this base a little bit more, my friends. I shall see you shortly. Not much to show you guys. Just a little quick update about how I've marked this area out. I have put my evil symbol in front of it. Uh, don't ask me what it means, because I literally just came up with it about a minute ago. Uh, but I hope that I shall be using it in the future, with marking it on signs, maybe. Actually, I don't have no idea how you could actually put that on a sign. But I'll mark it, I'll mark it out like that. It looks pretty evil. I figured it looks a bit like the evil number four or something. So yeah, that's that. Apart from that, I've just been mining away, doing some little things, trying to clear out the cobble. Scouting the area a little bit. Really, not much has been going on. Meet you back once I've got all this stuff mined. See you in a second, dudes. <sighs> More coal. Sugar do 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. You are my candy queen. Is it candy queen or candy girl? Anyway, you are my candy. I'm Qu getting beaten to death by skeletons. Oh, I hear. Oh, shit, I hear something. <laughs> I hear something. Goddamn beds. Hmm, oh. there's a couple of signs of life ah, right here. I see a name tag, guys. Signs of life? In what way? A hole. Bits of cobble. The occasional blank sign. It's almost like someone's been... Yeah, oh, whatever. Man. That sounds a bit weird. Wow. Must be nothing. Okay. That, that, that proves it. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. Uh, I think I managed to press record in time. Um, okay, right. So I know they are active on this world. That is good. I was a little bit worried about that. Didn't know how... Because they haven't been updating it regularly. So I don't know how much they're actually been playing on it so um okay good and bad news good news is they're here bad news is they um <laughs> they know that there's somebody else here probably or at least they might have a suspicion of it so uh if, if you're gonna do me a favor guys and you're gonna be my minions then then do me that favor and please don't um please don't run off and, and spoil spoil the surprise of my being very evil to them so yeah okay right next step gotta get to the nether let's get this oh by the way I just use this for recipes by the way guys if, if guys if you if you press R over here you get different recipes and I wanted to know what these stuff did so there you go um what's it talking about 
Yes, iron. Smelting some iron. I want to make some buckets. I want to get two. And if I can get at least two lava buckets, we're good to go. And I can... Uh... Oh, that looks so epic. <laughs> I don't really want to get rid of that. That's the problem. Is that the source block? I've got a feeling that's the source block. I don't really want to get rid of that source block. I would like to make a feature of that. I can use this lava. And then... I brought a crafting bench with me. Yes, I have. I can use that lava, and then I guess I'll just have to do some searching for some more. Because you do need more. I don't really need another. I just might as well smelt that iron. I'll certainly be needing it. Uh, okay, right. I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna dig down, and hopefully, I'll find another lava source, guys. See you when I do. My stone pickaxe just broke, guys, and I can't really be bothered going up to get a, uh, another one. So I'm just gonna use the, the oop, balls. I'm gonna use the ooh water. I'm gonna use the original uh, wood one that I yes, yes. That's interesting. Right, that's already some of it's already turned into obsidian, so I better be um, savvy about this. I hope this wooden pickaxe wooden pickaxe lasts me. Ah, we've got more lava. That's good. This is all good. It's all gravy. Fantastic. I don't fall in, and we're good to go. I believe. We're dark up here. I hope nothing spawned in my cave, because I didn't light it up. Once I once I get this lava, we're immediately going to um, make ourselves an infinite water source by the portal. Actually, I think we've got some water by the portal. That's good. And uh, we'll finish our nether portal. Do I have any way of... Uh, Lighting it up. I don't think I have any flint, do I? No. I've got... God damn it again. It keeps coming up. I've got no... I've got... Oh, damn it. Hopefully the fire might spread or something. and We might have to leave that to the next episode to actually go to the nether. But getting the... Alright, sorry for the lack of conversation. Oof. My evil senses were tingling. And it turns out they were tingling for good reason. Skeletal archer was there. Ready to pounce. Okay. Oof, don't know what else I can do. I saw I quite I got quite a lot of um saw quite a lot of minerals down I saw quite a lot of minerals down there on my way, guys. But I only grabbed the uranium, which I'll show you now in a second. There was actually two right next to each other, which is not oh, not the emerald. There, there was actually two right next to each other, which is a little rare. So that's pretty good. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay, and now I've fallen. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Could have been a lot worse. Could is that a name tag? No. Could have been a lot worse. Um, let's get this iron out here. Maybe we can make ourselves an iron sword. Cook this in the meantime. Do I have any sticks left? Nope. But I've got some wood. I've got a feeling something's flanking me right at this very second. I do not like it. Nothing right now. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna hide down here until daytime. Back with you in a second. Oh, I need to get some blocks in my freaking inventory. Mm, what can I? There we go. Back when it's day. Okay, guys, I think from the mini-map. It's looking... Oh, and I hear burning skeletons. That's always a promising sign. I think it's beginning to be day. Yes. 
Okay. Zombie flesh. Quick turn run. Spider. Ah, uh, spider buddy. You will be my buddy again soon. I promise you that. Oh, I've got 4 XP now overall. That's not bad. And there, of course, there is a creeper guarding the portal. Hmm. And another one over there. Oop. That's not the time to miss a jump. There's two following me. Great. I think they sense my evil power. Well, at least that's what I'm going to tell myself it is anyway. That was a close one. Almost didn't get that last one for there for a second. Whew. Right. Let's, uh... God, that, that burning fire made me think it was something else. Let's put one lava block there. Let's go get the other one from our base. And we've got some building blocks on us. So we should be set to make some obsidian. Take that and thank you very much. And I'm going to leave you a torch just in case the light was causing anything to not spawn and all of a sudden it now can. Right. Ooh. I definitely need to make myself an XP farm or some stage. I'd like to find a, a mob spawner for sure. So where do I... I'm going to put out this fire. Although I probably shouldn't have if I've gotten the way of... Oh well. What just blew up there? A zombie. Give me all the meat. And back we go. Right, so I need one there. And, and there as I thought. Okay. Well, I can put that there. This should this one should be straightforward. I think I just go. Yes. Good job. This one would be a little bit harder, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Bang. Oh, there's no way of not. Ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo -hoo. I have to put out the fire, which I'm okay with, really. Alley oop. Um. Jump up. Put the other one there. Let's get rid of this excess cobble. I should really have made myself a better pickaxe in the meat. I know I've got an iron one, guys, but because I haven't got... An what the hell was happening there? Because I haven't got an awful lot of iron, I don't want to waste it on regular digging. So, I want to get rid of this water. Pick that up. And there we go. Aha! Excellent. First evil deed done. Passage to hell made. Apart from the uh, very crucial fire. Wonder if I can just farm some gravel. Might do a little montage of me farming this gravel, guys. Before I uh, let's put that there little path or not whatever okay that's there but not there and it's there now good let's get some gravel out how much gravel do i have six pieces i think there's like a one in 20 chance of getting gravel flint flint from gravel so I'll come back to you whenever i get some guys <laughs> okay that was quick <laughs> That was handy. Oh, and I forgot the full inventory. Hmm. Let's go back to get some flint. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure that marked the evil entrance. Um. Oh, I. I have the steel on me. Of course I do. Because it would be very foolish of me not to, wouldn't it? Um, I have no idea what that is. Do I have a chest anywhere? No, of course I do not. I'm going to have to make one. Throw that away temporarily. Get myself a chest. 
Um, what can we put in it? Let's put all the junk in it for now. Let's put everything in it for now, rather. And keep you. Keep you. Organize my hotbar a bit better. Put some blocks there. That's leather, right. Pickaxe there, blah, blah, blah. Sword there. Spit blocks there. Water there. Axe there. Other pickaxe there. Usually put torches there. Do I have any torches left? I do. Coal thing. Flint and steel. We can quickly make a flint and steel. I'm an idiot. I clearly don't need to do this in um, the crafting bench. Here we go. Oh, first evil deed about to be completed. We are ready. I believe. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Drum roll, please. What the feck? Ah! Oh! I am a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool. Well, I'll meet you here back next time, guys. <laughs> when I actually do. I can't be bothered to go down and get that water right now. I have other things in my mind. Um, but I. Not the water, the lava. But I will meet you back here next time when I do get it. And we shall continue being technically evil. <laughs> that doesn't move anywhere near fast enough that I'd like for it to be evil. <laughs> there we go.